All right, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? We're back again with another YouTube video and today we're gonna to be discussing some drama in regards to the EDP 445 documentary that's supposed to come out this upcoming summer. And that's only if we believe what Boogie2988 is saying. I mean, that guy lies all the time. Now this documentary is currently being made by the YouTube channel Mike Klum. And if that name sounds familiar to you guys, it's because Mike Klum is the same guy who produced the really well done Boogie2988 documentary only a few months ago. So I obviously have a lot of faith and hope in this documentary being good. However, I also have a lot of criticisms and skepticisms as well. And if you guys want to hear those, I've made two videos already discussing this topic. But today we're mostly going to be focusing on Matt Simon and his current situation with Mike Klum. Now, if you guys don't know who Matt Simon is, is he was a pretty big actor when it came to exposing EDP. Him alongside people like Cole Raven, Master at Work, and obviously Chet Goldstein. Right? So he's obviously done a really good job exposing EDP. He's called EDP's gun range, got him removed from there. He called EDP's church. He went to a hotel EDP was staying at and tried getting him removed. However, I lost all respect for this guy when about two years ago he posted this video. I went back to EDP 445's apartment and told them he's a pedo. Cops called. Well, the first thing is the cops were never called. That was just straight up clickbait. And on top of that, he basically just goes into the management office of EDP's like home basically and just starts yelling at them and starts just causing a massive scene how are you doing are you gonna let know? i just want to let you know that you need to evict this pedophile he's a danger to everyone here and he's armed with guns and he's a pedophile so no comment no comment okay evict the pedophile save the children he's a danger Tried to have sex with a 13-year-old girl, armed with firearms. Disgusting. Disgusting how you guys handle this. Fuck this place. Fuck this place. Fuck the spur. She could kiss my ass. All right, guys. This is pretty much going to wrap up the video. I really need you guys to smash that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already which is not the proper way to go about this kind of stuff you know you can clearly tell he let his emotions get ahead of him and maybe it was a little bit for clout this was a great example of what you should not do to try to get edp right like this is just awful and it's like what do you expect them to do to a victim right they think these are rumors they understand they think this is all just jokes because they're getting calls every single day by people and some of them not serious about how edp is a predator so you're going to go out of your way to go and confront them in person and not even do it respectfully. You just caused a massive scene and they're like, thanks guys, like and subscribe. It was just bad, right? So you can imagine I lost all my respect for this guy. However, you still can't deny that he did a lot of good as well and enough to catch Mike Klum's eye. So Mike Klum was going to interview this guy for the documentary because I feel like he's doing that a lot. He interviewed Kayla as well. So why wouldn't he interview one of the OGs? But what ended up happening is they were trying to schedule a time for him to fly out there and interview Matt Simon. And he ended up ghosting Matt Simon, basically, never showed up. To Dallas, Texas, to interview me so I could be part of this big production documentary, right? I talked to him on the phone. Sounded like a really cool guy. I was looking forward to it. And he told me he was going to be here, I believe it was the 9th of this month, like a few weeks ago on April 9th, April 9th, he was supposed to show up and interview me. We planned this weeks earlier and I said, cool, no problem. Just pull up, I'll do the interview and we'll, we'll take care of it, right? Bro, you won't believe what this guy did, okay? Not only does this guy not show up, he was supposed to interview me in the morning, this guy, no call, no show, he didn't even have the decency, the common courtesy to text me and say that he's not going to be able to make it. This guy left me stranded waiting for him for like hours. Finally, I texted him like five hours later. He was supposed to interview me in the morning. I texted him a I texted him in the morning. I said, bro, where are you? Are, are we doing the interview? Like, what's going on? I thought you're supposed to interview me. This guy responds five, six hours later at like three in the afternoon, four in the afternoon. 
He says, my bad. I'll call you right now. My bad. I'll see you shortly or something like that. Bro, this guy didn't call me until like two days later, okay? So I want to be the first one to say that this Mike Klum, this guy that's doing the documentary on EDP, is an inconsiderate dickhead. And honestly, I don't know if this is true as well because we didn't get any screenshots. I feel like if Matt Simon actually wants us to believe him, he should show some screenshots because I know he's lied in the past. Like, he literally said EDP was arrested in a video, which just was never true. I'm back with another banger for you guys. And I got some breaking news for you. EDP has been arrested. Today is October 25th. It is 11.30 at night. Right? So if you want people to believe you, Matt Simon, because obviously if this is true, that is really bad. And I lost a lot of respect for Mike Klum as well. But post the screenshots then. You have a community tab, post them. Like, I know you did a live stream, but at least post the screenshots. Don't just expect people to believe you, right? But anyways, that's all I really want to talk about. If you guys like this video, leave a like, subscribe, and as always, guys, I'll see you in the next YouTube video. I can't lose sheep, but that's what I always miss.